text barking, check, thank you. <laughs> and I was like, what am I doing? I'm moving. Holy grail, girl, I love this foundation. It is so good and I'm gonna purchase it probably twice and forget about it. For lawless, like for real. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And if you are a member, then you know I recently bought a house and I am moving so I can renovate the house that you guys have seen me film in for now about a year and a half. So I went through all of my makeup and it's in members only. Do you guys see this? I actually got rid of about two 30 gallon trash bags full of makeup. Okay, stuff that had been expired for quite some time that I was like a little emotionally attached to. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm moving. I'm gonna have a whole new studio set up. I want a fresh start. So going through all of my makeup really reminded me of like what I truly love and what I repurchase the most. And I am not only a content creator that gets PR. I used to get so much more PR than I do now, but I do get some PR, but I also purchase things for reviews and for this channel. So a lot of what I make on this channel goes right back into this channel, the majority of it, honestly, to buy products. So I had so many products that I have, you know, purchased once for a review and kept around in case I wanted to use it again. So going through all of this makeup really reminded me of the things that I truly repurchase as a person who just loves makeup, wears makeup, and the products that I love using the most and have to get refills on. So that's what we're going over today. I'm not talking about like my favorite products of my entire makeup collection. These are the products I just have repurchased the most for me personally, not for reviews, just things that I actually use on me and have repurchased for years. So let's get into it. Check, thank you. <laughs> Let's start with foundation. I have a ton of foundations back here that I've purchased for reviews and also purchased for myself and, you know, special occasions, things like that. But out of all of the foundations I own, I realized the foundation that I repurchase the most personally is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I have purchased this since it launched. I have repurchased it and repurchased it and actually used this foundation on my models on Glam Masters on Lifetime. <laughs> so this foundation has been an absolute love of mine from when I was in my mid 20s to now when I, and I'm almost in my mid 30s. And I, my skin has been through so many changes. I have dry, sensitive, breakout prone skin that I also have an autoimmune disease that causes a lot of skin issues. And this foundation never clings onto my dry patches, always makes me look super fresh and lasts. That's the best thing about this foundation is not only does it give you a beautiful kind of finish and gives you incredible coverage, it gives you a lot of health to your skin. So I don't know how many bottles I have repurchased of the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, but it is an absolute holy grail. And I mean that, I don't, I'm not talking about. Holy grail, girl, I love this foundation. It is so good and I'm gonna purchase it probably twice and forget about it. No, this baby's been with me through so many, not this exact bottle, wouldn't that be gross? But I've repurchased this for so many different reasons. Use it on clients, use it on TV. It's a beautiful foundation and I hope MAC never discontinues it. In Interesting. The concealer <laughs> that I repurchase the most, and I buy a lot of concealers because I struggle really badly with bad, bad dark circles. I don't like to put a concealer on blemishes or problem areas on my skin personally because I have such dry skin that it only enhances the issues. So I just kind of let it ride with whatever foundation that I've used. I let that baby ride and I really focus on covering my dark circles and the, the concealer that absolutely covers my dark circles every time, doesn't crease, and is absolutely full coverage is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I purchased the shade Silk and the shade Cream, and I rotate them, and right now the shade that I have is Silk, and let me show you the coverage on this. This is just, since this launched, honestly, is I've repurchased this concealer, and Silk is a little bit more yellow undertone than Cream, but the last time I went to buy Cream, it was actually sold out, so I went to Silk, and I do love this shade. Do you see this coverage? Okay, it's over a tattoo. Okay, these are the darkness 
if it can cover a tattoo, girl, it could cover your dark circles. I love this concealer. A little goes a long way. It doesn't crease. I do like to set it with a press setting powder and then I like to bake with this. So it ensures no creasing and just like full lawless coverage under the eyes. Hourglass, please never discontinue this. I've probably purchased eight tubes of this. <laughs> like for real. All right, the setting powder. Out of all of my setting powders, okay, the setting powder I have repurchased the most and will continue to repurchase over the years is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder, just the original. This powder is absolutely wonderful. The only thing is, is it does tend to, if you don't have, if you like bake with it and your concealer might be a little too dark, it will darken it. So just be wary of that, but the rest of your face, it doesn't darken the rest of your face. It's just where you want brightness. Just be careful and make sure you might even use a half shade lighter if you're gonna use this under your eyes. But the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder has such a special place in my heart. I have repurchased this for years. Also used it on TV. Also use it every time there's a special event. Use it on multiple clients, multiple different skin tones. And this absolutely just sets and blurs and it just makes you look flawless. A little goes a long way. I prefer to set this, use this powder with a damp sponge. If I have someone that I'm applying this that has oily to combo skin, I will uh, set with a stippling brush. So a little goes a long way, but ooh, girl, it just still, I, I, I think I started purchasing the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder when I was in my early to mid 20s and I still repurchase it to this day. It is an absolute, for real, holy grail and out of all of the powders I own, this is the one I repurchase the most and it's because it locks it, sets it, forgets it and perfects it. All right, mascaras are another product that I like to purchase and try different ones, but the mascara, the mascaras, the mascaras that I repurchase the most are Hourglass. Hourglass Vanish is one that I've repurchased for years and then I don't have a tube of it now, but I'm on to the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara and I am wearing it today, but as you can see, I have lashes on, which is another constant repurchase, which we'll get into right after this. But the Hourglass Unlocked gives you such amazing separation. Here is the applicator, as you can see. Here, let's show you here. So I don't have people complaining about my tattoos. <laughs> yeah, in what world? It gives you such lo long, lengthened lashes with separation. It makes them look super feathery. It's what I have on my lower lashes, but it's tubing, but it's glossy and black. It doesn't smudge, flake, which is wonderful if you have hooded li lids, lids, hi me. I've been talking all day, so this is the last video of the day. We gotta get through this. But I love Hourglass's mascaras because they don't irritate, they don't smudge, they don't flake. And I highly recommend the Vanish, or not the Vanish, that's the that's the concealer. Caution! I didn't even need to finish looking up. Hourglass Caution gives you much more volume. Unlocked gives you length. So you could choose either one. Right now I'm loving the glossy black length that the Unlocked gives me and this will be a mascara I repurchase on the regular. Flawless. All right, the lashes that I have on that you always see me wear. I rarely, and I have like a full drawer back here, full of these lashes because I have a subscription. <laughs> I've had a Lily Lashes Miami Light lash subscription for several years. I just feel like they really complement my hooded lids and my eye shape. They kind of wing out a little bit after I've trimmed them to fit my eyes and they look more like lash extensions. If you would like to know how I apply lashes to really give a lash extension look, I will have that tutorial linked below. I go in depth on how to properly apply strip lashes so you don't end up with like, you know, wonky, whatever. I mean, it's not perfect every time, but this method is, I swear by it. And it took me years to finally like develop it. And I have, don't stray from that method. But the Lily Lashes Miami Light Lashes, if you ever have a question of what lashes I'm wearing, it is the Lily Lashes Miami Lights because your girl has a subscription. Once you find a lash that fits your eyes perfectly, you really like just don't stray. And oh, they're so lightweight and I can get like 20 uses out of them, clean them with alcohol and brush them out and they're good to go. Hooded li lights, flawless. 
All right, let's move on to brows. Since we're on the eyes, the eyebrow pencil. I purchased this eyebrow pencil for the first time, I think in 2015. I don't buy any other eyebrow pencil. I have probably purchased 10 of these eyebrow pencils and I have one for my purse. I have one for my desk drawer and one in my makeup collection because this is literally the only eyebrow pencil that matches my blonde brows perfectly. It is the Hourglass. Wow, there's a lot of Hourglass now that I'm realizing. It's funny because if you were to ask me what your favorite like makeup brands, I don't even know if I would say Hourglass, but I am just now hitting me. They're a constant. Okay, anyway, Hourglass Arch Brow in Platinum Blonde. It is the perfect when I gotta be careful because I'm running out of this. It is the perfect shade for blonde brows. It's like taupey. There's no warmth in it at all. So it doesn't give you weird red brows or anything and it lasts. And because it's shaped like a triangle, you can get precision at the tip or quickly fill in by using the bigger side of it. So that's what I always have on my brows is Hourglass Arch Brow in Platinum Blonde, and I will forever repurchase this. The only thing they changed about it over the years is the packaging. It's much more lightweight than it used to be, and I liked the heavier feel of the packaging because it helped with precision and having arthritis. I just like weight in the hand. It's more comfortable, and I don't have to grip as hard, but whatever, Hourglass, that's okay. Flawless. All right, liner. Liquid liner. I love liquid liner. It will always be a staple, but I used to love the M Cosmetics Illustrative Brush Tip Black Liner, and I still do, but I have found one that has surpassed that and I have repurchased it more than the M Cosmetics. It is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Liquid Liner. This is actually brand new. Oh, and I love having a brand new Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes liquid liner. You can just get such good precision. It's what I use when I apply my lashes. And if you wanna watch the tutorial, you'll see exactly how I use it in my lash application. It's seriously life-changing. But when I don't wear lashes and I wanna winged out, you know, liner or just a perfect precision black liner that doesn't get out of control. The Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes liquid liner, the, the shape of it, it even surpasses my beloved uh, Tom Ford liquid liner, the one with the duo tips. I used to purchase that all the time and oh my God, it made me sick because it was like $50. The Rare Beauty one is 20, 18 or 20 and it doesn't get on my lids and it's just so sharp and crisp and I can rely on it every single time. Or not the vanish, that's the that's the concealer. All right, pencil liner. Out of all of the pencil liners, the Urban Decays, the this, the that, the most repurchased pencil liners that I love for my waterline, for my upper lash line. This is the one I have on today, of course, because I'm talking about it. It is the MAC, just the eye coals. They're creamy, they're blendable. Do they last the longest if you don't kind of set them with a powder or smudge them with a powder? No, but they're the most comfortable. They do last if you smudge with an eyeshadow and just the, the shade range is incredible. But Costa Riche is actually the one that I've repurchased the most out of all of the MAC eye coals because it's this really nice, warm brown and it really enhances the green in my hazel eyes. So Max Eichels, so probably since I was a teenager, I've repurchased Costa Riche. Like it's always gotta be in my collection. And I love that I've kind of realized the makeup that I truly love and use personally after cleaning all this out because I've organized and cleaned this out several times, but not in an unemotional manner. You know, I always like looked at my makeup through my emotions. I did not do that this time and it feels so good. Or not the vanish, that's the that's the concealer. All right, let's get into lip products. And I really, it just, I narrowed it down because it was so, so easy. The lip pencil that I have repurchased for years and will always repurchase for all of my new lipsticks, lip combos and things is Max Strip Down. It's what I'm wearing today. It's such a good warm nude and it warms up grazy type of nudes and also defines lighter nudes. And it also goes really well with like red undertoned kind of lip shades. Strip Down is just kind of one of those classic, uh, you can rely on it. It looks really good. It also looks really beautiful on its own, smudged out with a clear gloss. So Strip Down, I don't even wanna know how many of these I've purchased, still like probably since my late teens. Strip Down has always been in my bag. I have one in my bag, I have one in my collection so I can easily film with it, apply it. It's what I'm wearing today. MAC strip down, hands down. The most repurchased lip pencil. 
whatever hour lasts, that's okay. Flawless. All right, lipstick. If you have not seen my <laughs> lip swatch video of every single Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I own, it's like 35 lipsticks, I will link that below. But out of all of the lipsticks that I own, which were quite a lot, and I threw out quite a bit because for someone like me to get through all of my lipsticks, it's very difficult without them, you know, expiring. Anyway, out of all of the lipsticks that I own, the most repurchased lipsticks are Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. And the most out of all of those is this shade right here. I believe this is my third tube of this. This is the shade Nude Kate. It is such, and I'm gonna swatch it right next to the strip down swatch. It is such a unique nude. It's right here and it's beautiful with strip down. There, It's like warm. Then there's like a, almost like a silvery type shift to it. And it is just such a gorgeous nude. And with strip down, it's beautiful. It's also really pretty with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in, oh, you know, the nude one. Anyway, I also love using Nude Kate with that one, but iconic nude it gives it more of a grazed out look, which is pretty for most looks, but for like my most repurchased and go-to lip combo, it's stripped down in Nude Kate, inspired by Kate Moss. If you think of her lipstick and like the iconic nude she would always wear, it's literally what Charlotte developed for Nude Kate. It's gorgeous and I love this lip combo so much. Hooded li lines. Flawless. So those are the products out of all my makeup, all of it. Over the years, since I've started wearing makeup, these are the products I've repurchased the most out of everything in history and will always repurchase as long as these companies stay in business and uh, also keep making these products, which they have for years now. So the inflection on that was weird. They have for years so far, so crossing my fingers, let's keep it that way. All right, I would love to know what your most repurchased products are, even if it is over the last 10 years. And honestly, a lot of these are over the last 10 plus years. These are the products that I have repurchased the most. Let us know in the comments. Give this video a like. It lets me know you enjoy my content and also lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content so you actually see me in your feed. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'd love to have you here. We have built such a wonderful community of beautiful people on this channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching. This was a really, really fun, nostalgic, kind of good feeling purge video. I can't wait to move into the new house. I will be taking you guys on the journey on members only vlogs. So I will have, if you wanna join, it's $2.99 a month and you get a vlog every week and there's so much more to come for members only. It's just life has been crazy. So I'm excited to roll everything out and you guys will be the first to know. And if you don't wanna join, you still get to hear about stuff, okay? Don't worry about it. We still have a lot of fun on my main channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I can like put my makeup up and know where everything goes really decently now. It feels so good. <laughs> Hooded li lines. Flawless. All right.